Hello everybody! In this video, we are going to be making this color switch game in Scratch. So this game is all about a color ring in the middle. You can operate it using the left and the right arrow keys. And the objective of the game is to match the balls with their correct color. And if you match them correctly, you get a point. If you do not, you lose a life. And if you lose all your lives, then you get a game over. So this game is very simple and let's jump right into it. So first thing I'm going to do is head down to scratch.mit.edu. You can use your offline editor. So I'm going to just name this color switch game. I'm going to just take that off. So now I'm going to delete scratch cap. We don't need him anymore. And I'm going to paint a new sprite. So now I already have my sprite in the backpack. So I'm just going to take that off. Like that. Don't worry guys. I'll send this uh, picture in the scratch community. I'll send the link in the description below so you can check that out. So now that I have my color switch, I mean my color ring, let me just name this color ring. And let's make it go to zero, zero forever. So let's start coding. When flag clicked, go to motion say go to zero zero and go to control forever if go to sensing uh, take the key right is pressed then go to motions click turn uh, 15 degrees turn 15 degrees and you have to please make sure that your costume is perfectly centered. If you don't center your costume, your costume will go like this. But we wanted it to go like this. So please make sure to center your costumes. And let's also say when the green flag is clicked, we point in direction 90. And if right arrow key is pressed, let's not say turn 15 degrees. Let's turn 8 degrees. And now let's duplicate this whole block. And say if the left arrow key is pressed, then you turn the other way around 8 degrees. So now we have a nice, nice coloring. So now that we have our coloring, let's go on and make the balls. So I'm going to paint a new sprite, take the circle tool and make sure you give this the same color as this. If you want to take if you want to make a yellow ball then you make sure you take this part to make the yellow ball so let's go and let's take this one thing and then do this make it a bit smaller a bit more smaller um, yeah, that's the perfect size I wanted. So now we make sure that this is camouflaging. Yes, now it's kind of hidden. So it's camouflaging properly. And let's call this yellow. And let me duplicate this and call this blue. Duplicate this call it green duplicate this one and finally call it 
red and now let's change the colors so go here take the filter use the pin button or I don't know how to call this just take this go here fill it with blue go back here then do that and that and that fill it and finally the red part and boom now we have all the colors so now we need to make the balls spawn at different places if you have seen in my game my in my game the balls come in all the four direction so let's do that so let's say when the green flag is clicked we hide because we are going to show the clones and not the original sprite and then say forever wait good operators take pick random one to three seconds go to control and say create a clone of myself so let's start when I start as a clone let's make a variable called ball spawn place so let's go let's say set bond spawn place to pick random one to four so what does this mean that the ball spawn place is gonna set to a random number between one and four let's see what happens so now if I click this block the value changes so now let's see let's set that if a particular value comes in we have to make it go to a position so let's go to control take the if block go to operators take the equal to block and then if go to variables put bonds ball place in the sec uh, in the first set and one in the second section so if the bond spawn place is equal to one we have to make it go here but not only here we want we want it to go to here or here or here or here or here so the x remains the same but the y can be random so let's say motion go to x negative 240 and y go to operators take the pick random block and say y pick random negative 180 which is which is from here to 180 which is right there so if the ball spawn place is equal to one then it goes to this position or here or here or here or somewhere here it go it picks a random number so let's set for the second one if bond spawn place is equal to two what do we do so if the bond spawn place is equal to two we wanted it to go to here somewhere right there so this time the y is gonna be the same but the x changes so let's say go to x negative 40 negative 240 to 240 so x is gonna be a random number between negative 240 to 240 and y is going to be 180. So let's take these two scripts and put that right below. And then say if the ball spawn place is 3 and if the ball spawn place is 4. <clears throat> so what if the ball spawn place is 3? 
If it's three, we wanted it to make it go here. So that's gonna be the y, the x is gonna be set and the y is gonna be random. So x is gonna be 240 and y is gonna be pick random between negative 180 to 180. And the last one, which is fourth, is gonna be um, here, right here, uh, which is gonna be y negative 180 and x pick random negative 240 to 240 so now that we have set the ball spawn places let's say repeat until touching the coloring point towards the coloring the coloring and then move uh, let's see let's put a random number move pick random three to five steps and if it's touching this then we delete that clone so now let's try that out uh, yep so sorry guys uh, we have to put the show block here so let's put that right there and now let's try that out um, yeah now if you see the balls come in different direction so one thing is that the balls come in the same costume every single time we don't want that to happen we wanted it to change different costumes so now let's go and make a variable Call it ball costume. And then say set balls costume to pick random one to four. Because we have only four costumes right here. So now let's check that out. Yep, that's not going to happen because we didn't say that we just set ball costume to 1 to 4. We didn't say that we have to change its costume to one uh, to the ball spawn costume to the ball costume. So let's go to switch costume to. We don't have to say if the ball costume is 1 then change it to 1 else if it's two it's two one easy thing to do is that we switch the ball cost switch the costume of the ball to the variable ball costume so now if you check that out there we go now we get different ball colors so now that we got this one right let's go on and make something else like now we have to do the sensing bit the sensing is gonna be like if we are touching the same color we get a point or else we lose a life so let me just hide these two balls for uh, a ball cost uh, ball variables and let's start with the new script say when i start as a clone forever and then say if go to operators take the and block go here uh, go to looks take the costume costume name and go to operators take the equal to block and then say if the costume name is equal to red and we are touching the color red So it's like this and we are touching the color red then we change our score by one let's see that let's make the variable score say change the score by one so let's see let me just take off this set ball costume too 
and set it to four just to just to check and yep now our score increases we have to do the same thing for all our costumes so let's go on and do that actually we don't want this to be in the if statement we want that to be in the if else statement so let's convert that duplicate this and put this one below this if else statement so if the costume name is green and we are touching the color green then we are going to change the score by one and then if we are touching the color yellow uh, sorry if the costume name is yellow and we are touching the color yellow we change score by one and if the costume name is blue and we are touching the color blue we change its score by one so now let's try that out shall we and there we go now we have our sprite uh, now we have the scoring system that's a good thing now what if I just touch another color yep the score doesn't change which is good and let's say when the green flag is clicked we set the score to zero now we need to make a losing system so for that we make another variable called lives and when the green flag is clicked we set the lives to five go down and then else you change your lives by negative one uh where is that yep but now there's a problem if we just say change lives by negative one even though we are not touching anything it just changes its lives by negative one which is not what we wanted so for that we need to make we need to code some more we should not only need this one let's put that away let's see we have to say if the costume if the costume name is red and we are not touching the color red and we are touching the and we are touching the color switcher i mean the color ring so that's three ands then we change our lives by negative one so the code goes like this if we are touching color ring and the costume name is red and we are not touching the color red then you change lives by negative one so let's see if that works uh wait a minute let me just set this only to four because we have put that only for the red so yup now it happens that if we not touch the perfect match then we lose a life so now let's go on and make that for all our colors so let me just zoom in the thing a bit and then let's duplicate this and put that right there so this is for the green bit so let's say if we are if the costume name is green and we are not touching the color green then we are going to do this bit which is the change lives let's do that for the rest of the colors like that and then for yellow uh, yellow and we are not touching the color 
Oh, and one more thing, guys. You have to make sure that your costume name and this name is equal. Is the same name. Uh, see the yellow bit. The spellings should be right. The spellings and the punctuations both should be the same. Otherwise, this bit will never work. So make sure about that. And for the last bit, we are gonna do this. If we are touching, if we are touching color ring, and costume name is blue, and we are not touching the color blue, then we change our lives by negative one. So now that we have done all of this. Let's try that out. Okay, balls come. Yup. Now everything worked perfectly. Just like we wanted. To keep our codes neater, let's make a block. Let's call answer. And then click OK. And then let's put this whole script right here. And then we are going to put this ball sensor right inside here. So this is just the same thing, but it makes our codes look much better and neater. So now that we have done with this, let's go on and make hearts represent the lives. Let me clean up my blocks. I want to give the backdrop a little bit of a nice black color. So let's convert to bitmap and give it a nice black color. Yep, that's what we wanted. So now let's make the hearts represent our lives so let's go here and take the heart whoa the heart is a bit big let's make him a bit smaller or else let's make the costume smaller since we need to make many hearts so like that so this is going to be one heart. Let me put that one right there. Oops, where's my heart gone? Oh. Where's my heart? I don't see my heart anywhere. Yep, now I can see it. So we'll make it go poof. Yep, so the first heart is there. Let's call that one. And the second one, let's just duplicate that. Copy, paste, and then put that one right there. And let's duplicate another one. Copy, paste, put that right there. And then another one. And finally, the last one so now I have told you right we need five costumes because we are gonna make it have five lives so we are gonna have five costumes like one two three four five and these look a bit Weird, they're like dancing and everywhere. So let's make them straight. Yep, mm, like that. And there we go. Now we have a hut. Let's make it a bit smaller. 50. Yep, 50 is the best size. And now let's say when the green flag is clicked forever switch the costume to the lives and let's check so yup there's one heart gone 
There's another one gone. There's another one gone. There's another one gone. And finally, wait, what? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the hearts reset. We don't want that to be happening. So let's make another sprite. I mean, another costume. Call this zero and put nothing inside of it because zero hearts means nothing. So now we should make something else. Let's say if let's put that in another script when flag clicked forever if good operators take the equal to block put zero in here and say if the life is zero then we broadcast a message we broadcast game game over so let me just put that game over and then let's make another sprite let me paint a new one and then I'm gonna use the text tool marker say game over So this game over looks a bit like it's so plain and boring, isn't it? So to make this look nice, we just copy and paste it. And now we give it a white outline, a white fill, and we make this go backwards. So now this game over looks awesome, right? Let me just hide the lives variable because we don't need the lives variable since we have the hearts with us. Okay, so there's our game hour. And I think our game is completed. Finally, we have to say we have to go to the text. Let me just call this text. Say when the green flag is clicked, we need to hide and when I receive game over, you show, and then finally, you stop all. So now let's try playing the game. Whoop, whoop, yep. Let's go, we doing this. And what if we die? Die, and some more balls, die and die. Yep, the game is over and we stop all. So that's it guys, the game is over. I hope you liked it. If you did, smash that like button. And please don't forget to subscribe to Lil Scratchers. And also, share with your friends. And goodbye. See you later. Bye.